Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a really quick video on how I do these sections that I've exported from Rhino and compiled in Photoshop. Run that new intro. Okay, so here we are in Rhino. Um, to do these sections, I'm going to be using a clipping plane. And to do that in Rhino, we're just going to type clipping plane. Now, a clipping plane, you just draw and will slice the, the building how you want. Now, I suggest turning on your gumball by clicking this button down here, as you can see. And it means that you can do angled rotation. So if you click this and hit 90, you can change your angle of rotation and it will, it will help you choose the part of the, the building you want to cut. So, say I'm going to choose here as my section, and I'm going to find the view that, that shows this best. So I'm going to do this by going into set views and choosing whichever one I want to show. Okay, so now we have the area I've shown. Um, this is the bit I want to do the section of. I'm going to change it to rendered view, and because I've got um, materials added here in my materials panel it will show the material now keep in mind this this pink line will be the color of whatever layer your clipping plane is on so if we go onto the properties of the clipping plane here um, it says display color by layer I'm gonna change this to black just to make it easier for after now first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export the textures rather than the line work now this will, this will show any textures in the image, so we have this pink line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click it and I'm going to hide it. You're going to do this with any coloured lines you have on your work that you don't want shown. Next, we're going to go back to the file print as I showed you in the plans video. Command P, uh, Command or Control P. I'm, um, you, you will pick your paper size, portrait or landscape, and I'm going to change my resolution to 300. Now, unlike vector output, which will do line work, we're going to choose raster output and you want to make sure you're on print color. This will, will show all the textures as it is. We're going to also make sure it's to the right scale. I want mine in 1 to 200, and I'm just going to hit print and save this wherever wherever I want. So if I do um, small section 1. OK, now we've got that section. We're going to export the line work. So I'm going to go back to shaded view. This isn't necessary. I'm going to select all of the model, or you can do sell all just to make sure you've got everything and then you're going to type make make 2d now what make 2d is make 2d does it flattens all of this image you're seeing into a single image and if there's any overlapping lines it will turn them into one now when you when you do this hidden lines will probably be automatically selected i'm going to turn that off and um, keep this on from input objects you're going to set it to your view because this is one of our set views and i've got group output on just because I, I don't need to separate them. I'm going to hit OK. And it will tell you how long it's taken. So mine took 1.5 seconds. If you double click and go to your top, it will most likely be here. Now we're going to use the gumball to move, move it out of the way. And we're again going to go to print. File, print. Or again, Command or Control P. <laughs> now this one's in color. And what we're going to do is I'm going to change this to vector output to ensure I have the highest quality. And I'm going to change it to black and white. Again, I'm going to I'm going to print this just like we did. So, small section one line work. Now, next we're going to go to Photoshop, and I'll see you over there. So now we're in Photoshop. We're going to do File Open, and we're going to select those files. We are not going to drag and drop them because it will resize it to whatever size your canvas is. So here are my small sections, and hit Open. <laughs> now. You can double check if you change this to centimeters. You can check it's the right size because because I've chosen A2. This is the dimensions of A2, so I know it's going to be correct. And same again. Now we have our line work and we have our image. We're going to first drag our image to our new document. And now what I like to do is I like to turn the opacity down a little bit, just so it's less harsh. Okay, now we're going to take our line work and do the exact same thing. Just drag my line work on top. I'm going to make sure it all lights up. Now, the reason I do the textures first is because um, it, whilst doing the line work, you have to go to the top view. And basically, doing the textures first just ensures that your camera doesn't change while you're doing it. Because 
if you accidentally move the camera slightly before doing your make 2D then then your object um, won't be correct with the line work now now we've got a line work what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the layer properties and I'm just going to add a small stroke just to thicken up the lines so after adding that stroke the other thing I like to do is I like to select the areas that have been cut you can see this with the thick outline and if I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to use the magic wand tool and I'm just going to select these areas Now, obviously you'll do this for your whole model, but um, I'm just going to do this section to show you. So again, as I've said before, clicking D will automatically change your, your colors to black and white. So if I hit D, default colors, and if I hit X, it will swap them. Now, doing control backspace will fill your with your background color, and hitting alt backspace will fill with your foreground color. So if you wanted a white cut, we can do alt backspace or we can do control backspace black. As you can see, this just makes the image look a lot more professional and just pop. <laughs> now, what I also did in mine was I used the pen tool and just did a ground texture, which I'll quickly do now. Okay, so now I've done a quick area with the pen tool, I'm gonna hold control or command and click the work path. I'm going to make a new layer and again I'm just going to fill it. There you go, you can see we now have a nice little ground. I'm going to move it up and there you go. Now you can also use this technique for um, doing elevations which I've done. Um, again just make sure you first have, um, you don't need your clipping plane this time, so just make sure you've got the correct view, go file print raster make sure you get your textures first and then you're going to select the object and do make 2d and export the line work hopefully this helps guys and i'll see you soon again please make sure you subscribe I, it really helps the channel and if you're enjoying this i'll be posting a lot more videos soon